Hello and welcome back to the last um, in the series of shape tutorials and this one I'm just going to cover some small bits about uh, vertex nudging and other details in the user interface. So um, let's start shape and um, get going. Um, as you can see um, I've got a, a hypnotizer actually running in the background. Um, with the shape module connected so we'll use that as an output so you can see what goes on while I do this live on the hypnotizer. So the first thing that I want to do is go to the network manager and activate the network. Now the hypnotizer is already set up and uh, connected to this session from previously so we'll reconnect to that session and you can see it there. So the first thing that I want to do is uh, um, import a model. Uh, we'll stick with our standard um, house here. So I'll select it, uh, move it up and back a bit, um, then create a projector and again move that back and up again. So let's go to output manager, this is just housekeeping, and connect it to um, to the hypnotizer. Oh, and it's still got some post-processing on. So um, let me fix that by going to the post-processing tool and disable the blending. Good. So what I would like to show you here now is how to modify vertices. Uh, imagine you have a model, but the model that's been created doesn't quite line up with the real world. So you may end up having to nudge um, corners of the model to make it fit in the building. So um, this is how you can do this. So using control and the mouse, you can navigate around your object. And let's say that the central window isn't quite in uh, quite in the right place. So what I'll then do is I'll um, select. Uh, I can these are selections. I can either select individual vertices. That will be kind of quite hard. Um, oh no. So this is model. So, yeah. So this is model selection, and the model is now selected. But what we want to do is switch to the vertex selection tool. Um, now I can select individual vertices, but that's a bit hard work. So let's clear that again. This is the clear vertex selection. Um, and instead, um, use a rectangle rubber band selection. So now, what I can do is I can draw a rectangle around the selection, and now it will select all the vertices inside that selection. I can switch to my move tool, and now move all the selected vertices. As you can see on the right hand side on the output the same thing happens there as well. So however one problem is that there's more vertices which I haven't selected are hiding in the background. This was actually a scanned model so there's a lot more vertices than you would actually need. Let's just undo what I've just done. Um, then clear the selection and explore these two tools here. The bottom tool is um, basically just selects the visible elements as you look at it from the front. It's probably best explained if we go to the alignment tool and you can see only what's on the front will actually be selected. Let's go back to wireframe. This tool however selects all the vertices going all the way through the model. Let me check, take my multiple selection again. So now if I start moving the objects you will see it'll, it takes all the elements and moves them about. Okay, so say the, um, the window just needs nudging a little bit to the left. Great, I'm now happy and it lines up better with what the real world's like. So you can go through the the whole of the model and tidy up individual areas where the lineup isn't perfect. 
Uh, let me run through the workflow of this again in the current version. Um, it can be a, it's somewhat confusing because you need to switch between different tools and we're looking to improve that workflow in the next revision. So starting from the top left, um, this is a multi-point a point selector. So when you do this, let's clear the selection, I can select individual vertices. Difficult to see because they're so close. Okay. The next one along allows me to create a whole host of using a rubber band. If I need to clear a selection, I can press this button. I can also press escape. So let's try that again. Select a part, press escape. Um, this tool does a model selection and this one does vertex selection. There's actually a little bug there whereby once you click it, it looks the same. Again, that needs to be fixed in the next version. Um, then these two buttons switch between the selection mode. The bottom one only selects vertices on the front, visible ones. So remember, if I do this, it doesn't select them all. Undo. What I want is I want to select everything going all the way through. There we go. If I now move them, it works as desired. Okay. Very important, you've got undo up here, redo, and you can also use control Z and control Y. Okay, that's all I want to cover in this little tutorial, just how to do vertex nudging, select them, select them at the front or all the way through either individually or through rubber band selection. Don't forget to save your project when you're done. Thank you for watching the Hypnotizer V4 shape tutorial. Goodbye.